welcome back to another video. I'm India and today I'm going to talk you through my 2018 reading goals. So um, the way that my goals are structured is that there will be a goal that I can complete each month of the year. So there are 12 um, and there are two goals that are specific books that I would like to read and then the rest are kind of more structured like challenges. So I'm going to give examples of what I would like to read and if you see one that you think is amazing or is one of your favorite things, um, be sure to let me know and to help me choose what I will be reading the next year. So yeah, let's just get on into it. The first book that I want to read is The Argonauts by Maggie Nelson. I read Maggie Nelson's Blue A's at the beginning of this year. And absolutely loved it. It's one of my favorite books of all time. And this is a memoir of sorts. This talks about the different changes that our bodies can go through. So I know Maggie Nelson is supposed to discuss what it's like to be pregnant and have her body changing, but also discusses what it's like to have um, a partner who is gender fluid and um, the different relationships that we can have to our bodies. The next book I want to pick up is Dracula by Bram Stoker. Classic vampire novel. I just want to get to this already. Yeah. Now we move on to the more challenging um, reading goals. So the first of those is to read a book of poetry. I have three of the Faber Nature Poets series and I've read the Thomas Hardy one earlier this year. And so I'd like to choose between these, either the William Wordsworth one or the John Keats one. The next challenge that I have is to read a play. Um, most of my challenges are just so that I'm reading more types of literature in my year, so I don't usually tend to grab poetry off of my shelf, so I want to read poetry. And likewise, I don't usually tend to grab plays off of my shelf, so I'd write, like to read some plays. So most of these are um, William Shakespeare plays and then we have some Greek dramas. So the first that three are by Shakespeare and those are Macbeth, Julius Caesar, and The Winter's Tale. And then I'd like to get to something in this collection of Greek dramas. The next challenge I have is to read either an essay collection or a short story collection. So the essay collection that I might want to get to is Wilderness Essays by John Muir. Um, and this is just a collection of essays about nature, which I think would be nice to read. It's also in a really pretty edition. Like this is just a nice, nice edition. Or I would like to get to and finish The Completed Stories by Flannery O'Connor. I've read a couple of stories from here, but I found them really difficult to, to get into. So I'd like to take a stab at this again um, and make a l at least a little more headway through this. The next three challenges that I've set for myself are just to read a book by an author that I really enjoy. So the first of those authors is Thomas Hardy. I read his Tess of the Jubervilles um, a couple years ago and really enjoyed it, so I'd like to pick up more of his works. The works of his that I have are The Return of the Native, Far From the Madding Crowd, Jude the Obscure, and The Mayor of Casterbridge. I then would like to get to something by Margaret Atwood, and so these are the books of hers that I have that I could choose from. The Blind Assassin, Surfacing, The Penelope Ad. have all three books of the Mad Adam trilogy, but I could get to the first one, which is Orcs and Crake. I then would like to read a book by Agatha Christie. I read and then there were none, I think, two years ago, and really liked it, so I'd like to pick up another. I have Murder on the Orient Express, Postern of Fate, and By the Pricking of My Thumbs. The next challenge that I have is pretty ambitious. I'd like to read a big book, and what I mean by that is a book that's over 500 pages. I'm someone who appreciates small books that are under 150 so kind of expanding my horizons and pushing myself to maybe enjoy books that are quite a bit larger. A few that I could pick up are David Copperfield by Charles Dickens, Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky, 
Moby Dick by Herman Melville, Don Quixote by Miguel de Cervantes, I could pick up War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. My next challenge is to reread a book. I have a number of books that I've read and I know nothing about anymore because I read them when I was 14 or 15 and wasn't paying the most attention and had some things just go right over my head so I'd like to get back into them and kind of be able to discuss when they come up in intellectual literary conversations being like oh yes Wuthering Heights I've read it <laughs> can't tell you much more speaking of Wuthering Heights I'd like to get to and reread Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte or even Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte or even Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy or Les Miserables by Victor Hugo my next challenge is to read a piece of YA YA is another thing that I don't tend to grab for in my general reading so I'd like to make the effort to read more. I'd like to either restart or finish Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This is the third and final book of the Chaos Walking trilogy which I started a year ago and did not finish for some reason. Or I would like to get to Daughter of Zanadu by Dory Jones Yang. My final challenge that I'd like to complete in 2018 is to read a piece of non-fiction. And so I have three pieces that I would like to maybe get to. The first is Three Guineas by Virginia Woolf, The Fine Art of Literary Mayhem by Myrick Land, and A Curious Invitation, The 40 Greatest Parties in Fiction. So thank you for sticking around and hearing about what I plan to read or what I plan to choose from to read in 2018 and I'll see you in another video.